So, um, someone keeps on seeing all the numbers. There it is. So, what I want to do, guys, um, for this one, we're going to, I'm going to solve this by elimination. Now, remember, last time we talked about elimination by using subtraction. So, how do we know when to use subtraction? Well, remember, you have to have the same variable, has the same coefficient. So, when we look at y, they both have a negative 1 in front, right? So I could use subtraction for this, right? But I don't really like subtraction, right? If it was like a vote, do you like subtraction or addition? I would say I like addition more than subtraction. Everybody kind of maybe agree? Yeah. yeah subtraction oh. or addition is usually easier than subtraction. We sometimes will make little quick mistakes for subtraction. It's easy. So I can use subtraction for to eliminate the y's. But let's go and see if I can eliminate the x's instead. So do the x's have the same variable or same variable as a coefficient? Or same number as a coefficient, I'm sorry. And yes, they both have a 3, right? Yes. Now, the difference though is instead of here, they both had a negative 1, right? A negative sign, so they're both negative. Here, 1 is a positive 3 and 1 is a negative 3. So when I have the same coefficient but with different signs, I can now use elimination with addition. So to use elimination with addition, all we're simply going to do is add the two equations up. So how do you add the two equations? Well, just like you guys used to add numbers. Just make a bar, add, and just go vertically down. Um, where'd you get the two I'm just making this up. Just, uh, <laughs> hey, this is how you add. Okay? Jonathan, you got this? No? No? Okay. So let's look at it. 3x minus 3x, or 3x plus negative 3x. Zero. Zero times x is zero, right? So what I did was I eliminated the variable, hence the elimination. Negative y plus negative y. Negative 1 plus 5. Say positive 4. Now I divide by negative 2. y equals negative 2. Now I've found the, is everybody following? <coughs> Now I've found my negative y, I'm sorry, I've found my y ID. So now I know what this is, I can plug this back into one of my equations. Now, if, remember, it doesn't really matter which equation, so just pick one. Where did I get the 2? I had negative 2y equals 4. And I got rid of the negative 2 by dividing the negative 2 on both sides. So now, once I have my negative 2, I'm going to plug that into one of these equations for y. So I'll plug it into the top equation because I don't like dealing with that negative. So I'll have 3x minus a negative 2 equals negative 1. Okay. So now again, I have a double negative. That's going to make it turn to a positive. So I have a 3x plus 2 equals negative 1. Subtract the 1, or subtract 2, get 3x equals negative 3, divide by 3, x equals negative 1. So now I find the value of x, and I find the value of y. That's the point. Ta-da, and that's the point. Where'd you find the x at? Huh? Where'd you find the x at? By plugging in the value of y, and then solving.